Okay, hello, Patty. Let's uh, take a look at the pictures from your first uh, time out there in looking at learning stack and tilt. This is the left view, which is this be from behind, or we'll call it down the line view. The right view is from straight in front, which we call the caddy view. And this is two different swings, of course, but they're identical as were all the swings that we filmed that day before we started uh, any lessons. So you don't have a problem with repeatability. You definitely repeat the same swing over and over, but um, you should watch this through just a couple times and see your old swing and say goodbye to it because we're going to change some stuff that, uh, that will really help you in terms of consistency. Here it is again. Okay, Patty, let's start taking a look here at what we want to work on. I'll try and limit this uh, conversation. I have usually have a tendency to get carried away and wanting to talk about everything that I see after I get to look at some of these swings for the first time, but uh, I'm going to, I realize that's, that it's an iterative process. We have to go back and forth so that your uh, mind and body can get around all of the information that's coming your way and, um, and assimilate it. So, um, I'm going to start uh, this time, this lesson, by talking about two specific tenets of stack and tilt. The one is the steady head, uh, which basically is an indication that you're swinging, a cent making a centered swing or swinging around an axis, which is located up here in your thorax. And um, then the second thing we'll talk about is the straight arms and see how those affect. Let's take a look at uh, your swing. This is from the uh, caddy view or straight on. And you'll see right away, right from the beginning, that you start moving your head back and up in, during the backswing. Now, believe me, this isn't uh, nearly as bad as many of them that I've seen. Um, you actually don't. I mean, a lot of people go completely outside the circle, but but your yours does move back a little bit and raises a little bit here uh, during the backswing. And then see what happens here. That you try and compensate to go back, to get back to the same place where you started. See, so you go oh, like that. You try and try and come back, and of course you overshoot it. And that's the problem with moving your head in the first place is that you can't always get back to the, exactly the right spot, the spot that you were starting at. And here you can see your whole body, your head and your whole body shifts forward. Okay, so until you finish the swing. So, um, so that's something that we're uh, that we're going to work on is maintaining that steady head all the way through impact. And here you can see at impact, at the impact position, you have uh, stood up, your head's lifted up and moved to the left. Okay. So, and then of course now we want to talk about these arms that uh, are bending, especially this left arm. Which we, refer, which we refer to as the chicken wing effect. And basically you do that to keep from <clears throat> crashing the club into the ground um, because you're not, you're not certain. With your head moving around, you're not certain to where the club's going to end up. So a lot of people, majority of people do this. They bend this left arm uh, right at or just after impact just to <clears throat> keep, it from, uh, keep it from hurting themselves by... <laughs> hitting the club straight down into the ground. So so uh, we'll definitely work on that, and then we'll work on keeping your head in the circle. And I'll show you, your head should stay in the circle down in this area until about here in the swing, at least until about here in the swing. And I'll show you that from the back, how we can tell um, what the point is at which time it's safe to start uh, standing up like you do here.
Now, uh, at the beginning of this thing, I want you to, I want you to notice something here before I draw any more lines about the uh, straight arms. But this is something I'm going to talk about later. But you see here when you're set up, um, you can see the the uh, um, <clears throat> direction of the face of the club is pretty much square to the target. The face is pointed that way. Okay. And now watch when I roll past so you start your swing. You notice look at what happens to the face of the club now. The face of the club is kind of pointed that way. Left. So it's kind of that first it's the first little move that you make there that you've learned to compensate. And I'll show you why you've learned to do that when we look at it from the back view. But you can see is how that club closes as you start to take it away. Okay. So Okay, so at this point, at this point, we would like to see uh, this left shoulder go down more, down in this direction, and uh, as opposed to you see, you hit that spot right there, and then it starts going straight back, and that's why your head lifts up because it's not tilting, your body's not tilting enough. So work on that, and then on this side through, uh, you can see we'd like to have this shoulder go down as well as it comes back through. But that's what happens to that shoulder. So that's why your head ends up up here. So so we're going to work on that. Okay? So that's it from this caddy view. Let's take a look at the view from behind. From down the line, let's check out the uh, movement of the head from a vertical and a, uh, and a lateral point of view. This sort of equates to a drill that we have called the head up against the wall drill and uh, I'll show it to you uh, at some point as we work through here and uh, also let's look at the uh, what <coughs> what the guys on TV always refer to as man look at his his spine stay totally straight throughout that swing. Of course now you know we it doesn't but this is called the angle of inclination and theoretically, your body should revolve around that shaft going from your center of your hips to the center of your neck here. So, so let's see what happens with uh, your swing. This is, by the way, a different swing, but um, it's almost exactly identical to the swing from the caddy view. In fact, uh, I'll tell you that all the swings I looked at that we filmed, which is about 12 of them, um, they all look identical. So you don't have uh, any problem with repeatability. You uh, you do the swing almost exactly the same every time. It's just that uh, maybe we want you to start repeating some different stuff instead of the stuff you are repeating. So so uh, here's uh, how we're looking from down the line in terms of head movement. And you can see that looks uh, pretty good up till there. Your head is raising up just a little bit as you get to the place where your arm is is parallel to the ground and and uh, you can see you see how your body is totally standing up here compared to where your where it was inclined before now it goes this way and your head is a uh, your head is up above the line so you are standing up on the back swing there's the top of the swing I want you to notice here this club is uh, facing basically down the at, at the target, here's that yellow flag. That's the target that we were aiming at. So it's parallel to the target. That's pretty good. The club faces uh, in, in the almost exactly the right position. So all of that looks good. Your right leg has straightened. Your left leg is bent. All of that is good. It's just that your, you know, your right, your left shoulder didn't go down far enough, and so it appears as if now your spine goes this way or your inclination goes this way, as opposed to the way it started. So we'll work on that. Your head came up. So. Work on that, and then at the moment of impact, you do get uh, the club comes nice. You get it down onto the, onto the um, uh, the right plane again, and uh, your inclination gets back to where it was halfway down in the swing. So, and then at moment of impact, right there, you have you you've arched back a little bit. You pulled your head up a. a off of the uh, above the <clears throat> top of the wall here 
let's go back just a little bit. You see how much you stand up right before impact. We really, we really want to change that. Uh, we want you to start extending your spine, but we don't want you lifting up like that. And that's a matter of getting this right shoulder to come more down and tilting more to the right. As we talked about from the other, from the caddy view. So that will do. That's a nice shot, though. But look at this when your hands, when your club, when the club appears, comes out the other side. It should be coming out over in here. It would be actually if you were bent over more. But uh, this, your head should still be down in here um, at this point. So that whole standing up process from the moment of uh, right before, right before impact here, in through impact and all the way to. What we call PA, which is uh, almost finishing the swing. That's uh, that standing up process we're going to try and get rid of, okay? And I'll show you how to do that. But at any rate, um, just a quick note on uh, swing on swing plane. Um, I know we haven't talked about that yet, but I'm going to draw these lines to show you just so that uh, the next time we get together we can talk about it. But this is we draw a line from. The, an address position should go right about through your belt, which it does. And if we draw another line from there through the shoulders, and that's the angle in between which the club ought to uh, ought to stay. <coughs> and uh, on the and and it does here. You do a real good job here. Um, I'd prefer to see just maybe a little bit lower. Remember, I said the hand should pass through the arm right at the bicep area so sort of splitting the difference here between the upright um, at, at the driver on the driver this this uh, plane that you swing on should be about 45 degrees and then it could go up a little bit from there as you uh, go up in clubs but this is pretty close this is this is not as bad as I expected it to look to tell you the truth but we want to flatten that swing out just a little bit more and then as you come back down, you notice you stay right in there. That's very nice, very nice. And the club does come from, you see right here, down here, it comes sort of straight into the ball. Uh, so so in other words, the path, we call it a, a zero degree horizontal swing plane, which means that it's going exactly, and when it hits the ball, it's going exactly down the uh, target line. And here's the target line on this, uh, on this is, you know, remember we went uh, straight down this. We went right to the. It was sort of aimed to the right of the, to that yellow flag out there. It was aimed right to the right of that green out there, and so then the target line would also be parallel to that. But what's interesting here is look at your foot line. The foot line is here, and then remember on that previous uh, uh, thing when I showed you how the first move you made on the way back was to close that club head. Look how close that club head is, and you've just gotten used to that. You're aiming this way, but you know that you're going to close that club. The closing the club head to the path, which this is. The path is straight down the target line. The club face is facing over more this way. So when at impact, that will cause a, a draw, but it will also cause the ball to start in that direction. So you already know this. That's why you're aimed this way. Your body knows it. Like I say, it's stack and tilt, which it's really, we kind of don't care so long as you know where that ball is going to go, and it's going to go in the same place every time. But I'm going to give you some options as to other ways to aim, other ways to have the club face uh, facing when you hit the ball, and where that path should be going as you hit the ball. And um, you'll just get to choose whatever feels normal. You know, we don't want to choose. You know, I don't want to create anything that doesn't feel normal to you or doesn't feel better than what you're doing now. Uh, because a lot of people play this way. They aim to the right and then they close down that club and uh, come over the top and, and then they'll end up hitting it to the left. But they know they're going to do it every time. So, But uh, it's not ideal, but uh, it will work. So that's that. Now let's go back to the caddy view for a second. So, so here back in the caddy view, um, now you can see how that club face is closed down there and uh, pointing to the left just as you start your swing. And um, 
But here we want to talk about the arms being straight. Now remember I told you that the uh, that the low point of the swing was directly below the left shoulder socket, or just inside that, a couple balls inside that. And then from there, the arm should basically drop straight down um, to the ball. So <clears throat> from your point of view here, uh, one thing that the drill that we did uh, is designed to fix, and we'll show it to you soon, is to have this, these hands more forward and to be down so that the shaft is leaning forward and down that line. And then um, that way, that way you'll be uh, you'll be forming like a uh, like a a triangle here with the with the two arms being totally straight or close to it. So so uh, and then as we start to swing, and get to here. See this arm here. We'd love to see this arm to be straight right here. And that's far, far from straight to the back of the left hand there is where we measure the straightness. So, and, um, go a little bit further. Now there, you can see this would be the straight line there. And you can see your arm is bent almost 90 degrees here. Now one, you know, well, first of all, it makes it very difficult to get back to the ball at the same spot. But secondly, remember we talked about how far the club was or the hands were from the ball uh, was determining how hard you could hit it. Well, you know, if this arm was straight, then your hands would be out up, up over here somewhere. And that would be a greater distance between there and the ball than where they are in the ball. So... Um, you know, I know that my, there are players like Mike Morphew, he bends his arm uh, a lot here, but his his downswing so perfectly timed in order to straighten his arm by the time it gets down to here, you know, it's uh, it's very unusual that somebody can do that, and he won't be able to do it for long, believe me. But um, here you go again, and see, the way you're straightening your arm here is that you're sort of keeping your hands in the same spot, and moving your whole body forward to straighten the arm. Well, so so it is. It's getting straighter and straighter. Um, but the problem is that you that you made that move. Look at this is where your shoulder was before when you started the swing, and now your whole body has moved forward. So the bottom of the swing really is going to be out over here. That's where the swing is going to bottom up, bottom out way up over here because you should, you've, you've moved your whole the whole center of the arc of the swing over to here. Well, no wonder you have to bend your arm to keep the club from crashing into the ground then because this is the longest distance, right? Now it's way over here. So you're hitting the ball way back here and you can see you had to bend your you have to bend your arm to keep it from keep the club from crashing into the ground. So so here whereas you, this all should be back to the original line of where you set up, it's now moved way, your body has moved way forward, so, and, uh, you know, of course, you can, you can move your hips that far forward, that's fine, but you got to keep your head back over where it was when it started, so, I mean, if you want to do, if you want to do the second tilt move, and see here, you can, you, you're continuing to bend the left arm, and right here, of course, we'd love to see this kind of a thing, but but your arms are all bent up. So so um, let's uh, see if the drill took care of any of the stuff we talked about. Okay, all right. Okay, well let's check out what happens when you uh, start swinging with the little punch, uh, straight arm punch drill that I taught you at the end of the session. This is the original swing. Your original swing on the left from the front view, and this is the uh, uh, view, uh, same view of the drill. So watch this. Huh? Which one would you? Which swing would you rather really have? <laughs> so look at this. Uh, Big 
difference, big, big difference there. So, um, <coughs> let's see. So, this is the uh, this is the drill. Now we'll get, we'll start it right from the uh, right from the very beginning here. So now we can draw those same lines that we did last time and see how they look different this time. So here's the line coming straight down, which is the bottom of the swing where the swing would normally bottom out. It's right right inside your left shoulder. And then this is the line. Now look at that. Look how much better that looks with your arm still coming straight, straight down to the ball. And your and your hands and arms in front of the ball. You still could push a little bit more forward on this drill, but that looks good right there. And uh like, let's get back to this one so we have something to compare it with. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so. So here, once again, we go down there. And then. There. Okay. I'll just get this back to the. Uh, So, look at the difference there. Huh? This looks like a golfer here. This one's got the bent arm, bent wrist. So, alright, so we'll take these through the uh, sequence then. Uh, let's, uh, you know, while we're at it here, I'm going to. Uh, the circle around the head and uh, uh, in both pictures as well, so, so we can track that. Okay, so now look at that. Look at your head. Look at your head there, Betty. Oh man, that's that's good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. As opposed to. <laughs> a little bit far, a little bit far. That's close. So there's a big difference there, right? So here we come back down. This left arm, left arm stays totally straight. This is a beautiful position right here, by the way. Let's get back. Let's get to that position here. We call this P6, which is the position right before the position we measure right before impact. And look at look at the difference. Now see. See how remember when we talked about this was the place where your where your uh, left shoulder was to begin with, and how trying to get back to the trying to get your head back to center you went forward and everything went forward, so now your left shoulder is way out here. Well, on this one, that's still pretty close to where your left shoulder was when you started. So this is looking very very good here, and this is uh, of course the old swing, but. Uh, We'll move it up to impact. There's the impact position. This is where your shoulder started. Your left shoulder started. Look how your whole body has moved forward. Your head is completely out of the circle now and moved forward. And uh, so the low part of your swing is now way out, way out here. And that's why you're bending your arms because the bridge of clubs come crashing the ground now. And this shot here, look at that. Look at that. That moment of impact. Your hands are in front of the ball. Club shaft is leaning forward. Your head is like perfect. The shoulder is still. It's a little bit forward, but that's that's nice. That's good. And notice how your hips are turned more, and that's what allowed you to stay back on the ball. And your right shoulder dropped down further. So, so that's really nice. Look at that. Look at your head stay there, right there. Uh huh? To that position, your head still nice and steady, as opposed to that. Look at that difference right there. That's beautiful. This is what we want. This is what we want to see. So now that we've gotten the place from there to there, the swing from here to here, that's what we want to incorporate now into the full swing. But uh, and so we'll work we'll start out by working on the <clears throat> on the back swing and the components of the back swing to get you all the way to the top. What we call position four 
at the top uh, before you start your announcement. So, but this is this is good. This is real good. Very very nice. Okay, let's get back here one more time to the uh, impact, and I'll play the sequence through for you with the lines in it. That's the impact position. And then lock these in and play it backwards and then now watch this. Look at it. look at look at your head there. Did you see staying staying how that stayed around your head? Look at that. Look at that. See that is really fabulous. As opposed to this moving all over. Nice. So that's the drill to work on. Keeping that head steady, keeping those arms straight. And that'll we're gonna work on that impact. Okay. Okay, just as a reminder now, in this drill, we want to flare the feet out like this. So the outside it could be a little bit more flared. So good both of them. And then we want to make sure that we keep the ball forward in the stance. There you go. Flare the flare the feet out. Ball forward in the stance sort of below your left shoulder, right there. A little bit inside below the left shoulder. That's good. This would be where the bottom of the swing would occur, so you're hitting it a little bit before where the bottom of the swing would be. And then, then we want to shift the weight forward. That means basically slide the hips. Slide the hips forward. You could bend that left knee. Slide the hips forward. Slide the hands forward. Slide, slide the shaft forward. So flared foot, hips forward, shaft forward, hands forward, weight on the left side, and then arms straight. Short little backswing. Could be even shorter, but that's good. Arms staying straight. Arms straight through the follow through. Good job. So that's the that's the drill right there. Very nice. We'll go there. Put this guy in here so you can see your head. Head totally steady, arms totally straight. That looks good. That's key. Yeah. So you come out of it a little bit too early, but we'll we'll I'll give you another exercise to work on for that. 